everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so today we will be solving the problem find the lca in a binary search tree now you must be knowing what is a binary search tree a binary search tree is a tree where you have a node and everything yes everything on the left of that node is smaller than the node's value and everything to the right of that node is greater than the node's value greater than not greater than equal to that is what a binary search tree is if you want to know about binary search tree in deep you can check out my entire playlist you will get to know about that now lca in binary search tree so what is lca lca is known as lowest common uh, ancestor okay so for an example if i say can you please find out the lca of 5 and 0 for 5, if I draw down the path till the root of the tree, till the root of the tree, this is what the path will be. For 0, if I draw down the path till the root of the tree, this is the this is the path. The first point or the last point, if you see from the top, from the bottom, the first insertion, insertion point, intersection point, is what the LCA will be. Now, if I say LCA of 2, 5, 2 is this, 5 is this. So, first intersection point. So, I hope the definition of LCA is clear to you. First intersection point in the path or the last intersection point if you look from the top. From the bottom, the first one. From the top, it's the last one, right? Now, LCA is clear. What's the naive approach for this problem? Now, I have already discussed how to find LCA in a binary tree. You can check that video out. It's already there in the playlist. Now, this required a time complexity of big O of N where n is the traversal time that you generally take in the binary tree but this question is a bit different over here it has been exclusively mentioned that it is a binary search tree so you have to uh, you have to take care of that now you know whenever it is binary search tree you generally uh, don't apply b go of n it's on the height that you do something to solve the problem right so how can you solve this problem okay uh, so let's let's take this binary search tree and try to figure out the LCA of 5 and 9. Now, uh, it's a binary search tree. Now, can I say, if I'm looking for two nodes, what can be the possibilities? If I'm standing at a place, what can be the possibilities if I'm looking for two nodes? There can be a couple of possibilities. Either both of them lie to the right, both of them lie to the right, right? Or both of them lie to the left, right? Or what's the other possibility? One lies to the left, one lies to the right that can be the possibility or the node itself is one among them the node itself is one among them these can be the possibilities right so can i say let's just talk about uh, the portion where one u that is the first node lies on the left the other v lies on the right let's talk about that possibility so can i say in that case i can say that this guy is my lca the first, the last point where I can say one lies on the left, one lies on the right. Can I say that is my LCA? I think I can. So let's follow that pattern of algo. If I am at 10, yes, if I am at 10, I am looking for 5 and 9. 5 and 9 both are smaller than 10. So I will move to the left because I, I surely know that this is the path that I have to move. Next, 5 and 9 are both greater than 4. So, I will move to the right. Correct. Next, on 8, can I say 5 is on the left? 9 is on the right. Can I say that? I think I can. So, if I can say that, can I be like, hey, listen, I was following a path and suddenly the path split. So, can I say this is the last point of split? Indeed. And that's the last point of the split. Can I say the point where you split is what your LCA will be? So I easily got my LCA node, right? That's that's indeed correct. What if I just change it and I say, hey, can you figure me out the LCA of uh, 1 and 2? How will that work out? Let's see. You start at 10. You're looking for 1 and 2. So both will lie on the left. You add 4. 1 and 2 again on left, 1 and 2 again on left. This is the moment you you cannot say that 1 
is on the left or like both of them are on the left and right you'll be like okay this is the guy who is itself the lca so since both of them do not lie on the left and both of them do not lie on the right hence i can say this guy is my lca so it's very simple left right left right and the moment you cannot say ki okay one is on the left one is on the right that like the moment you can say that that both of them are not on the left or both of them are not on the right you can say that this guy is my lca because if both of them are on the le left you move if both of them are on the right you move as simple as that right so in this way you can figure this out now since you're moving left right left right you will be moving the height of the tree so can i say the time complexity can i say the time complexity will be big o of height of the tree yes the height of the tree can be n if it's a linear tree but uh, assuming it's a binary search tree generally it's not a linear tree so i can say big o of h which is much much better than big o of n and the space complexity will be big o of 1 i am not considering stack space into consideration you can do that by yourself if you want to consider stack space if you're doing a recursion call you can do that even if you do a normal i mean a normal while loop if you just run a while loop then you will not be using the recursion stack space correct so depending on you or uh, whichever algorithm you want to use uh, you can easily judge the times complexity and space complexity right so now it's time to check out the code so i have written the recursive code you can also write the while loop code which will not take an extra space like the recursion stack space you can write that by yourself now i'll be discussing the java code the c++ and java code are identical because instead of root it will be a star of root star of p star of q root dot val instead of that it will be a root uh, dash uh, and greater than sign uh, in c++ so apart from that everything is identical so you can follow the code as well so given the root you are given the node p and the node q how do you find the lca i say if it's null then then i don't do anything then i say hey listen uh, i find out the root val do both of them lie do both of them lie on the right if they lie on the right let's go to the right okay do both of them lie on the left if it is then go to the left if that's not the case i cannot determine if both of them are on the left or both of them are on the right if that's the case i return that hey this is the first point this is the first point of the, or the last point of uh, intersection you can just return that root of the tree and that will be your answer so uh, guys i hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the code just in case you did please please make sure you like this video and if you are new to this channel please do consider subscribing yeah with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye bye take care broken don't ever forget your golden